Contrary to the short run, in the long run, no cost is fixed. Firms can determine their production level and adjust plant sizes. For a better explanation of the long run cost analysis, let's see a graphical example. On the upper graph, the x axis or horizontal axis shows the amount of output produced, while the y axis or vertical axis shows the total cost of production. On the lower graph, the horizontal axis also shows the amount of output produced, but the vertical axis shows average and marginal costs of production. The curve in the upper graph represents the short run total cost curve for period one. The tangents of this curve are used to draw the short run average cost of output for period one. The average cost will decrease as long as the growth rate of the total cost in the upper graph is decreasing. At the point where total cost has a slope equal to zero, we have the point where the average cost is at its minimum. This same point is where the marginal cost curve of period one crosses its average cost curve. As we can see, once the marginal cost has crossed the average cost curve, the average cost starts to grow again. Since the long run is formed by a set of many different short run periods that come one after the other, we'll draw other short run curves. Thus, we draw the total cost curve, the average cost curve, and the marginal cost curve for period two. We then draw the total cost curve, the average cost curve, and the marginal cost curve for period three. We can now draw the long run total cost curve that will include all of these short run total cost curves. Again, we use the slope of the total cost curve to draw the long run average cost curve. This curve will have the shape of a large U, being tangent to all short run average cost curves. When, from the points where the short run total cost curves are tangent to the long run total cost curve, we draw straight lines towards the lower graph, we will see that they will reach the long run average cost at the exact points where they are tangent to their respective short run average cost curves. We draw the marginal cost curve this time for the long run. As always, the marginal cost curve will cross its corresponding average cost curve at the exact point where the average cost is minimum. The point where efficiency is greatest is determined by the point where average and marginal costs are the same. This analysis of costs helps us understand how firms make decisions in the long run about their production process, depending on their long run average and marginal costs. A thorough analysis of the market structure and its supply curve will show that at the point where average cost is minimum, supply and demand will be at equilibrium.